Okay, this is the first of the two major, uh, two main integration techniques that we'll be dealing with in single variable calculus. Okay, so it's called integration by substitution. The other one is called integration by parts. So all the integration you'll be doing uh, in this course will be either by substitution or by parts. And then we'll just have a lot of bunch of subcategories, whether we're talking about trig or logs and so on. Okay. And so let's uh, describe, um, let's clarify what this is. If you have a function, an uh, integration where you have a function of the composition, you have the derivative as a multiplication on the outside of that composition. You should set your g at x to be u, and you can replace it with this. Right? So if you have g at x, if you set that equal to u, if you differentiate that, right, you get du g prime at x dx is equal to u. So f at g at x will become f at u and g prime at x dx will become du. Okay, so what that is, is it's an essentially an intermediate step of backward process of a chain rule. Okay, so if you have a function f composed of uh, g at x, if you differentiate that, we get f prime at g at x times by g prime at x. So look how similar this part and this looks like. So finding the antiderivative of this is the same thing as first converting it to this and finding the antiderivative of the simpler thing. Okay. Okay, so let's say suppose you have big f at x. Okay, big f at x is the antiderivative right, of f at u du. By ftc, we know that the derivative of um, this function will be f at u. And you have to chain this, right? You have to chain that by du over dx. Okay, so this is a complete backward process. It's a description of backward process of chain rule, one step chain rule, one step chain rule. But it feels different though. The way you have to do this backwards, it feels uh, much harder and much harder to identify than doing simple chain rule. And it's similar to you know when you guys first did uh, expanding and factoring, right? Even though factoring was a backward process of expanding, the way you approach factoring was completely different. And it felt completely different as well. Okay, so let's uh, proceed to the examples and see uh, what I mean by that.